Today we are taste testing everything from the Sprouts grocery store's pre-made hot bar section and see which ones I would recommend. I feel like this video was serendipitous because as I was shopping for this video at Sprouts, a guy leaned over and said, what's good here? As if he knew. But I don't think he knows. I don't think he subscribes to this channel. Which reminds me, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and thumbs it up and let me know in the comments what is your favorite go-to grocery store because Sprouts has become one of my favorite grocery stores. Their produce section is kind of unbeatable. Everything looks so good. So if you have a second, just go down below and just drop your favorite grocery stores at Whole Foods. Is it the Piggly Wiggly? Y'all ain't got no judgment against Piggly Wiggly now. My mama loved Piggly Wiggly, so let me know. All right, I'm gonna start with everyone's favorite child, macaroni and cheese. Comment in the comments if mac and cheese is your favorite child. And if you disagree, I'm willing to fight you over this. But I will say, it is hard to find a good mac and cheese. Why is that? <laughs> Let's see what sprouts taste like. That's extra cheesy. I recently just did a video where I taste tested all of Whole Foods hot bar items and their mac and cheese gave me very much like buffet, golden corral, nostalgia vibe. This is better than that in terms of texture. It feels very thick and creamy. It almost tastes like it has American sliced cheese on it or something. It's very cheesy and so good. Y'all know my love language is roasted sweet potatoes. Let's try them. Hmm. I like them a little thinner and a little crispier with like almost like a crunch. These are a little soggy. The flavor is good. I think there's some good seasoning in here. Let me try one more bite. It's very like Thanksgiving in May and I don't know if I love it. Let's move into their mashed potatoes. These look gorgeous. Like these look like something you would get at a fancy place like Ruth's Chris, which I was telling Matt. My dream video is to go to Ruth's Chris and try everything on their menu. That's my retirement video. You know, if you see that thumbnail, your girl, that's her last food video she's ever gonna do. <laughs> Let's try these mashed potatoes. Again, the texture's not right. It has kind of like a boxed mas mashed potato texture. Unlike the Costco mashed potatoes that I just told you guys about in my last video, but there's bacon in here. Whoever made these spent a lot of time trying to make the flavoring really, really premium, even though the texture tastes a little grainy. I mean, I'm also not mad about it. <laughs> I'm not above box mashed potato texture. Let me just tell you that right now. That mac and cheese is so good. <laughs> Same so. All right, let's try the beef and pork meatball with marinara. These looked gorgeous in the container. Look at that sexy lady. Lots of seasoning, I can tell. Cheers. Wow, mmm. feel emotional for some reason. Why, it's so delicious. I think my expectations are kind of low because it's a hot bar pre-made type thing. It's better, dare I say it, than the Air One meatball that I had, like by a lot. And it's significantly cheaper, it's not $3,000. <laughs> I don't have to use my retirement money to buy it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so juicy, so tender, so texturized. I feel like meatballs can be a little ground up too much. The flavor's so rich. I can't get over how much flavor is in that. This is the chicken parmesan. These are breaded chicken breasts with lots and lots of parmesan, so I appreciate the extras. The flavor is really good. It needs more sauce, but I am surprisingly shocked at how much seasoning and texture and flavor is there. And you get a huge portion. I really feel like this is a great option. It feels comforting. I just, I feel like there needs to be some sort of marinara, but it's still delicious despite that, which is surprising. Brussels sprouts are another supernatural favorite of mine. If a Brussels sprout is done properly, it could change your life. It could change the course of history. That's how much I believe in them and their potential, but they can taste horrible. <laughs> so I'm always reluctant to just deep dive into Brussels because I'm a little bit of a snob about it. And I have some amazing places in Los Angeles that makes the most amazing Brussels sprouts, which is a phrase I never thought I'd ever say growing up, eating Krispy Kreme donuts, okay? But here we are, we grow, we evolve, and we enjoy. Cheers. If you like the flavor of pain, you'll like those. Absolutely not. I would like to untaste what I just put in my mouth. It's dry. The flavoring is weird. The seasoning is off. The texture's wrong. <sighs> whoever made these hates Brussels sprouts. I can just tell you they, they don't eat Brussels sprouts, whoever made those, okay? Next up are the roasted citrus baby carrots. When I think of carrots as a hot dish, they're not in, in that shape. Doesn't that feel, doesn't this shape feel weird for roasted carrots? Don't knock it till you try it, okay? Erin, let's do it. 
Hmm, not what I was expecting. Much better than I was expecting, but still probably not something I would order again. I feel like this is better than the sweet potatoes or the Brussels. This one actually has the most flavor. I just, the texture is not my favorite. That like finger-like texture, it's still a little hard. If they were softer, I think I'd like them better. Well, that's disappointing because those are supposed to be the healthy options. <laughs> Maybe I just don't like healthy food after all. Maybe I just like Taco Bell. So Sprouts has just a breaded chicken cutlet, which comes plain with no sauce. I imagine you can kind of put your own marinara sauce with it, which I can appreciate having a simple plain option for people to customize how they like it. Matt actually had one of these for dinner last night and he said it was just okay, it needed sauce, but let's just try it. I need some sauce. Good flavoring, good texture, not soggy, and it's been in my fridge for a day. So I can appreciate a properly made chicken chicken cutlet, okay? But next I wanna try their chicken tenders, which also look plain as you would expect, but there looks like to be some amount of seasoning on here. Cheers. Uh -oh. The texture is wrong. It's so super chewy and fatty and like the flavor is good though. I, I wish it wasn't so. Do you want to try it? You just spit it out. <laughs> you should try it just to make sure. <laughs> oh, you just spit it out. I saw you. Just to make sure I'm not hallucinating. Maybe I just got a bad bite. Oh, the, your hairs. Ew. <laughs> this is going downhill fast. What's going on here? <laughs> it's like mushy. Oh, like that. It tastes like a rubber sole of a shoe. I wouldn't know what those taste like, but I would imagine. It's like mushy, it's weird. It's like if you took a Dr. Scholl's insert and you fried it up and served it with some ranch dressing. I I've never met a chicken tender I didn't like. Have you? Have you ever met a chicken tender that you spit out? I don't think I have. And I've been doing this professionally <laughs> for like half a decade. I cannot in good conscience, conscience <laughs> recommend that to anyone. Just go to McDonald's or Burger King. My next food victim was supposed to be the regular chicken tenders and I promise I didn't do this on purpose but I just went out to the fridge to get it and I dropped it. It just spilled everywhere. I got lucky that I'll have to taste test that one because it's trash. I can just tell you right now. In the trash. <laughs> well it is in the trash and it's trash. Matt's about to eat the Brussels sprouts so just warned him. After I made a plate full of them. <laughs> You're about to experience mediocrity. <laughs> Alright I'm holding out hope for the vegetables in this video because they haven't been showing up very well. This is the garlic roasted green beans and they look pretty good. Like this looks like something you would get at Erwan or gosh, I'm hoping this is a win because I don't want to eat carbs for like the rest of the week. My house suddenly smelled like something was on fire and I think it's whatever they season these green beans with. I'm not sure if that's a good sign, but it smells like cigarette smoke, doesn't it? Why does it smell like an ashtray? That's so weird. Cheers. Is something on fire? Is it my green beans? It's not spreading. They taste delicious. Like a grill, like smoked on a smoker, <laughs> but with maybe cigarettes instead of <laughs> charcoal. The flavor is really good. I'm just gonna say it's the best veggie back here. It smells all right. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, maybe we should have microwaved it. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's better on the stove, aromatically, but flavor-wise, best vegetable in here. I agree with you on these. I, am I right or am I right? Mac and cheese is good. Mac and cheese is pretty good. Brussels are no good. Terrible. Very mediocre. Honey, I'm a professional. I will not lie to you. And I have good taste mm. in food and in men, okay? That okay. <laughs> All right, next up is the chicken parmesan with spaghetti. So I think it's gonna be delicious because the previous chicken parm that I had was delicious, but I am again disappointed in the amount of sauce that is involved. I guess they don't want to over sauce you because it'll make it soggy, but I love being over sauced. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever says I want less sauce? No one. If you had the choice of being sauced or over sauced, what would you choose? Super sauced. If you had the choice between sauce and super sauce, how would you sauce? Let's let know in the comments. <laughs> Let's try it with the skeddy. Still a little dry. I don't know, we need a little bit more super sauce, but the bones, the foundational flavor of that is so perfect. It's just screaming for sauce, that's it. The noodles are perfectly cooked, they're not overcooked. I would give that a nine out of 10, but you know what, if you're at Sprouts, they sell truff marinade sauce, like spaghetti sauce, and oh, nothing is better than that ever created. I'll link it below. If you have a little bit of that, just you're done. You're done. All right, last and probably least are these chicken wings. I don't like, you know, 
on the bone. I've said that 5,000 times on this channel. So I will venture into meat on the bone land for you guys. Matt's using lighthouse dressing, ranch dressing, by the way, which if you haven't seen my video where I tasted every single ranch dressing at the grocery store, you should. It actually is not my number one ranch dressing, but it's a good staple. How are the wings? Oh. Oh no. This is very mediocre too. Oh wow. And they were not cheap either. Oh, sprouts, what are you doing? They were twelve dollars. Can I just try one of yours? And there's definitely there's no spicing, it's just bland. It just doesn't seem like Absolutely not. No. Oh, it looks like you're pa it's painful. You're eating it just because you have to. You don't have to. I made them. And the super sauce didn't help. Super sauce did not help. That's literally gagging on the chicken wings. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked you to try those first. What did you bring home? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had as many high highs and as many low lows in one video. I'm kind of surprised at this point that the things that I taste tested today were not that great. But the caveat is this is a part one. If you guys like this video, there's probably about 15 other things I could try at Sprouts. I just didn't want to waste food. So if you want to see me taste test some of the other items that they sell there, let me know in the comments. Thumbs up this video if you enjoy this content. I do it because I love it and I do it because you love it. But if you do love it, thumbs up this video. It really does help it perform well in the algorithm. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for this one. Let me know if you want a part two. Bye!